Four years of mourning. Four comes of mourning. So that would be four years four of mourning. Four years of mourning. Us in pain and battling us through to try to survive. Four, four years of mourning. That means you're mourning for the world. You're mourning for the that death of everybody around you. People are going to die so readily that we're going to be crying every day for death. With COVID, they already are. They we're already going through that already lost one point four billion. That's what I'm saying. We're already going through in the this year when the fallen angels are released from CERN. They're going to uh, occupy the all the power so structures of the world, and they're going to create habits. They're going to make people, men think they're women, women will think they're men, dogs will think they're cats. They're, they're going to completely destroy the mental uh, efficiency of the human race. Huh? Well, that's what we're going to do. We, we win. You'll see one of the guys come by. It was love and magic. We destroy all the technology. Technology. Oh, doctor. Thank you, doctor. At one time, the world. That's what you did. Yeah, the world was full of love and magic, and all of a sudden, somebody came along and offered man the ability to have anything he wanted in exchange for the world. He had to destroy the world to get what he wanted. Gold, technology, uh, all that is just destroyed the world. So for his to obtain technology, he had to give up paradise. He had to leave the Garden of Eden. That's where the Garden of Eden story comes from. It's when man was given the choice between love and magic and, it, and uh, technology. Uh -huh. Look what happened. You destroyed the world. Tech, tech takeover. Greed takeover. A lot of false idols. It's a 10,000 year battle of love and magic against evil and technology. We already won by destroying all the stuff. We've been winning. When the angels come back, the structures aren't there. They can't use their magic. We've been winning for a long time. That's why we're here. We've been winning the world. Yes. But, and we'll, we'll, we'll win this one. But we're gonna go through five, the next five years, we're gonna be ungodly painful to humanity. I think we're already in that. Yeah, hopefully we're already we're in that. Even ending that right. right. Yeah, ideally. Just think about it. Yeah. Trick Trickle down economics. Honestly, yeah, this is voodoo the, economics. That really caught me. Uh, Zappa honestly. called it. Yeah. Now the very last verse that is published and is popular. Practical he slavery. says this. Yeah. And they're the three men Capitalism. I admire the most: the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. They caught the last train for the coast, which is here, so Palm Beach. They came here because this is the only area that survives. Tax the churches. Don't eat the yellow snow. Don't eat yellow, Don't eat yellow, yellow snow. Or the coast, the west coast. Don't drink the purple Kool-Aid. The day the music died. Nope. That makes sense. Don't eat the brown acid. And that verse, they do have all the fun. But they made them believe in last verse. It talks about quantum technology. But do you know when music died? Quantum technology. That too, Brutus. Hey, do you know when, you know when music died? When, 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 Adolf, when the Nazis changed the frequency of music from 33 hertz to 44 hertz. 44 hertz is the frequency used to brainwash humanity. Oh. Look it up. God's, God's resonance is 33 hertz. All music were tuned in to 33 hertz. Oh, until uh, Nazi Germany changed it to 44. Because um, the propaganda minister, Goebbels, knew that that was the frequency that vibrated at the same frequency as the human brain and could use it to hypnotize the human being. Wow. Well, it's changed. I'm not saying that Floyd was an idiot. Floyd was a fucking child molester. Well, because the judges were going to believe that uh, a retarded, inbred child molester knew more than everybody in the world. He didn't know shit. No, Gurgle was always the propaganda. Gerbil was, was a highly intelligent, psychotic psychopath 
was not a scientist like I He was a psychopath. And that's why he was good at what he did. Einstein was a scientist. Einstein's theory of relativity didn't work without using the ether. Excluding the ether from his uh, calculation, the, the mathematics don't work. It never has. It doesn't work without him including the ether. You have to include the ether, the energy that incorporates and surrounds all of us. It was about the theory of relativity. It was. It was Einstein literally was a shrill for the, uh, the Rothschilds and the Jesuits. He was designed to bring people away from the truth. The Rothschilds and the Juggalos. Einstein, Einstein was a German Jew. Right. <laughs> and Einstein now also was a Nazi. Now that's an insane clown boss. And he got out of there. <laughs> no. Okay, you seem to understand. Okay, Germany, the Nazis didn't lose the war. They moved to America. My, well, they moved to South America. No, my grandfather was one of the Nazi German, one of the Nazi scientists that came over here on paperclip. Okay, now all the scientists in NASA are German Nazi scientists. Okay. Yeah, they got paperclip. They got political operations. My grandfather was one of the engineers. They he built got, satellites for NASA. They got political asylum. To and then build. They killed them. And NASA wasn't a space agency. It was a, 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 a propaganda agency. It was designed the kite for the by. manipulation of people. <laughs> it had another sign on it. Bob Ron, the, the, the uh, father of rocketry, wrote on his tombstone a passage from the Bible that talks about the firmament and how it's impossible for humans to pass through the firmament to get to the moon. So then that was fake news. Yes, we've never been to the moon. That's what I needed. A little patchouli. And I can prove it with, with a little simple teaching. mathematics. Mm -hmm. Oh my. That was all so propaganda. Oh yeah. I was over here earlier melting down. And the reason they tell you that there's a out of space and we have all this. It's getting all fucking dark inside. It's because they want to bring the demons the are closing in. Rob, it's all like I think it's time. Which is just that that it's all life forms. <laughs> That and then your fans died. showed up. And bro, he came by and brought a $60 painting. As all there you go. go. It like perked one, me back up. He let me one, regurgitate again, for a minute. And then he, one. he told and me this, you know, some positive stuff from the Lord. And then I was like, and then he gave me $60 and took home a badass painting. And I, I like felt my energy coming back to me. Like this. I was like, okay, I can hold on a little longer. No, we're all going to go back to Who came by? Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey? No. And then we, and then oh, we're gonna go as well. Just for the <laughs> country, older country guy. Nice. He probably he probably wears, a, he wears a white cowboy hat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Long There's hair. He's a dancer. Oh no, not that, not the dancer guy with the gloves. No, 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 no not him. We live in the universe. We live in the globe. The universe is alive. Astronomers and measurements. Yeah, no. That's bullshit. Yeah. That's but they, okay. They, they say the universe is 27 billion light years away, but the universe is only 4 billion years old. But we're within the universe. It's right in the sense it's not the world. It's not the world. The universe is misleading. There has never been a picture. Everything is relative. There has never been a picture. Perception. Perception is everything. Nothing's tangible. Perception, right? There's never been a picture of a planet. There's never been a picture of a star. They're all computer graphic, uh, ge computer generated images mm. from data. Like computer backgrounds. Yes. That, there's not even a picture of the Earth. There's no real picture of the Earth. It's all computer data put together and manipulated, and it's a, hol it's a hologram. Nobody's ever took a Polaroid in space and said, take a snapshot of, of the Earth. Doesn't exist. Dude, a telescope. Okay, my grandfather built satellites for NASA. Satellites, satellites are flown by the hot air balloons, by uh, helium balloons into the atmosphere. 
at a hundred and uh, fifty thousand deep funky tech house. That's the highest they ever go. Gray Elm recording. Real satellite sent into orbit from the nineties, earlier two thousand. Gray what? Greyhound, like Greyhound, the bus. gotcha. Ride the Greyhound dog. Greyhound recordings. Ride the dog. Okay, yeah. look this up. NASA's own. Nineties rock, dude. Yeah, late nineties and early, early two thousand. What is the permanent solid dome? Really heady, really groovy, really deep. Really unique sounds and tones. Abstract, very abstract. But there was another label too. But I think this, la this other label, I think, it, I want to say it came out of New York. Uh, Panhandle Records, which was similar in style, but the overall vibe of the tracks, like they, they had they had a lot of similarities, but you could tell they were very different at the same time. Like this is Greyhound, this is a Greyhound track, and this is a this is a Panhandle producer. You know. Panhandle had some of the most psychedelic art covers on the vinyl. It was made real. Really, really psychedelic. Very surreal. Badass. You know your jams. So you believe in Darwin? It's like the Dick Cavett show. Right? Dick Cavett show. This is a think tank. Real think tank. You're entitled to be part of life in a realm of being life. So we keep you gossip. So we're in a vortex. Realm. We're all holograms. It's all just energy. and. a realm. They identify it as a realm. No it's all an illusion. You're really light and sound vibrating at a fast rate that you you think you're alive, but you're really not. It's, so we're robots? You know, we have a soul. The soul is what you are. Your consciousness is light. Yeah, the spirit world was here first. Well, that's what we are. We're in robot spaces. We're in like a yeah. human uh, temple uh, suits. Right, right. It's generated by the light of our soul. Yeah, the spirit. Where your heart is. Yeah. Okay. We're living the dream. Oh. We're living the dream. Okay. It's kind of like you're so a video you game that? character and this is okay, your outfit. What's the ripple of life? Enjoy the life. You're the ripple of life. Yeah. You're in a well, the Share the love. All it works is I know the everything is just your no, subconscious. So if you generate I good and good and good and good, it will only be good. What is it? Yeah, we're living the dream. Indeed. You're living in a that is only perceivable by your perception. You live in a realm this big. You can only perceive this much of it. So to say that we exist among so many other creatures that might be manipulating us, that might be harvesting us, that might be helping us, or genetically manipulating us, is so not too far so you, so you, so you, No, I believe that there are matrix. No, I believe that the matrix. The matrix is a documentary. Exactly. It's far more advanced than the natural world. So to explore, like Nikola Tesla says, to, when you stop exploring the nature and you start to explore the supernatural, you would increase your knowledge a hundred thousand times. Because there's so much more in the supernatural world that exists, that is applicable to tapping into as a power source. That we are restricted from that power source by power source. Because if we learn to occupy that realm with that type of power, it will be unstoppable as a living entity. So that's why they lie to you and tell you that you live in this fucking world that there's no place to go, you can't escape, and there's, there's only this is our reality. No, reality exists in the supernatural world, which opens up your ability to explore hundreds of thousands of more places and explore more than you can do in this realm alone. There you go. I'm talking about 
Like that party it's in one like, of those Matrix sequels. It's like, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. This is like if this is like if the acid. If this is this is the acid that all the old school hippie rockers took, like Santana and Hendrix. This was like if that acid took acid and then met them and decided to make a song. That's a double dose. For the, dead. We learn from the concept of death. People, she's funny. Some people are just acting. She's, she's on her own now. In the background, they have no soul. They're just puppets. They're, this is a classroom. It's a classroom. It's like an AI nanobot. Right. Yeah. right. It's a mechanical. It doesn't have Everybody a has soul. That's right. That's right. We're all on the same journey. We're on the journey of evolving, hopefully. Still on the journey, and you're not evolving. You're definitely revolving. Yeah. <laughs> you're stuck in the revolving door. You're stuck in the spin cycle. Hamster wheel. Hamster wheel. No. Agnostic. I am not in round and round. I'm the spirit entity in the. Well, or they did necessary to buy time. So are the sands in it. We're, we're all non religious. We're, we're non religious. To be round and round and round. Huh? 